Hey everybody, it's Kyle with another episode of Unlocking Your Inner Strength, episode 282. Haven't missed a week yet, so that's pretty good. Uh, so 282 straight weeks with this. And maybe I'll do an episode on that when I get to episode uh, 300, just consistency and how that can benefit uh, your life. Today I'm going to talk about life lessons from jiu-jitsu. You need to know nothing about jiu-jitsu to understand what I'm going to tell you. And <clears throat> had a great weekend, uh, uh, kind of a, a really awesome road trip with Devin out to Cleveland. And a uh, great time with my buddy, my buddy Brandon last week. He came in to see us from Chicago for a few days. And it's always fun when we get together, but we got to go to jiu-jitsu um, on Thursday and roll together. We've always talked about that. You know, he was a college wrestler and whatnot, but it actually aligned to be able to do that. So pretty cool. And let me be clear. When I joined, I started jiu-jitsu four years ago. I didn't know anything about it. Felt like a fish out of water for the first three months at least, which was good for me because it allowed me to feel what new members at the gym feel. Right, when you enter that new environment, don't really know what's going on, where you fit in the hierarchy, what are people, you know, gonna gonna do to accept you or, or kind of shut you out? It's just stuff like this that your brain is always running and scanning for. So in jujitsu, there is something called framing, right? When you frame, right, and you frame on somebody's hip or kind of across the collarbone area, maybe a shoulder and a bicep. <clears throat> and the framing is to give you space, it's to, to help you use that frame to create a little space to move. So you're typically going to frame when the other person is more in a uh, dominant position or they're on top. You know, for those of you that aren't familiar with jiu-jitsu. So you frame and you move. Frame and move. Framing gives you space. Just like in life, you need space when there's a threat. When a lot of stuff is going on in your head and you got a lot, you're not really clear on what's supposed to go on. You, have, you might have a big stressor. That could be a person. That could be a place. It could be certain circumstance you have that going on first thing you need to do when we teach mind map is to get away from bang get away from the gunman back away create space i always tell people to go for a walk when they are overly emotional about something they got a big decision to make they got a tough conversation they got to have because a lot of times it, it creates space it calms you down get away from it create space, and then you can move forward. So creating space, that's a huge thing. Where do you need more space in your life? Second thing, more for the men out there, and being that we got ripped dads coming up November 1st, so shoot us a message if you want to join. To me, it's a very primal thing for a man to do something like grappling or jiu-jitsu or boxing, something with your hands in combat. I think it is essential for men to do something like that. I get it as you age. When I talk age, I'm talking like when you, when you enter your 70s, let's say. Maybe you back off on stuff like that, right? But think about this, man. At what point do you stop becoming feared physically? For some of you, that's already happened. Some of you can turn that around. And I'm not talking about... <clears throat> being a world champion in jiu-jitsu. I'm talking about being able to handle yourself. Men are hardwired for physical combat. With my boys, Braxton and Colty, I was wrestling with Braxton last night. Uh, i got to make sure I get some Colty time today. It's hardwired into boys from the time we are little boys to, for, for physical rough-and-tumble play. It's a primal thing. And I'm not saying you got to do jiu-jitsu and... You need something to tap into that primalcy as a man. Women, you have your own thing that you got to tap into, like motherly nature, uh, whatever that is. But women have their own thing. 
men have their own thing. And I think it's very critical to uh, realize that concept and to act on it, to act on it. So much so that I really try to make a point not to miss jiu-jitsu. I only go twice a week. And sometimes, like last week, things come up. I couldn't make it Tuesday this week. We've got meetings. <clears throat> Probably not going to be able to make it Thursday. That's okay. But when everything's going, uh, I make a point to get over it. And I always feel better afterwards. Not everything is a nail in your life. So based on what I do in, in my life, with, with what I have done with strength training and whatnot, being an athlete, um, you know, from a young age, I do have... High, higher levels than normal of strength, right? With like grip strength and just explosive power. I might not be the strongest guy, particularly anymore in the weight room. Pretty strong there, but not what I was. But I can still turn on <clears throat> strength pretty much at will, especially when I'm grappling with somebody. And here's the problem with that. I, I'm still learning to overcome this, but when I do that, when I utilize my strength and rely on that at jiu-jitsu, I don't learn, right? Yeah, it could, it could maybe get me out of a situation. But now I'm learning when do I need to turn that on? How do I keep it turned off? It's just because you have a certain skill in your life, realize that you need to develop other skills, other uh, things in your stack, which I've talked about plenty of times. Your stack is... Really, uh, your unique, and you could use this for jiu-jitsu or life, but like your unique thumbprint, like your skill set. So for me, fitness, strength training was probably my foundational, um, you know, layer in my stack. Then on top of that, you could either put mindset or nutrition, right? I became an expert in both of those fields in, in certain uh, niches in those, those areas. Then I've become uh, what I would consider a pretty pro prolific writer because I write all the time. So write. Anyway, you get your stack. So in jiu-jitsu, if, if my foundation of my stack was just physical strength, I'm not going to advance very far or progress very far. And for me, it's just a self-journey. It's uh, no uh, illusions of grandeur of becoming, a, like I said, a, a jiu-jitsu celebrity or anything like that. I enjoy the process. And I, I really like the guys and, and the women over there, and it's a really good environment. But not everything is a nail. Realize that when you've got to develop your skill set or your mindset, okay? The last one I'll leave you with, use it all the time. So professor always drops, uh, you know, knowledge. Sometimes more than others, he'll, he'll, he'll say more things than others. But one of the things that really sticks in my head is you only lost if you don't know why you lost. And that can apply, and I use it all the time in life. You're going to make mistakes. You can beat yourself up about it. You can, uh, you can feel foolish. You can feel bad for yourself. But just ask yourself, do I know why I lost? And right away, you're going to change your attitude towards that circumstance. Because if you, if you do know why you lost, you didn't lose. It's a learning experience. And if you don't know why you lost, then you've got to ask somebody, and it's still a learning experience. So that applies all the time, everywhere to everybody's life. And, and that's a real quick way that you can reframe and, and get your mind back on the right track. So those are the lessons. Uh, again, framing, create space in your life. Find something that, that, that touches your primal spirit that you need to be involved in. Everybody's different. Men, you got to be involved with some type of physical training or physical combat. Not everything's a nail. Don't just use your, your, if you only have one dominant skill set, develop others. You know, develop your unique stack. And always ask, why did I lose? In jiu-jitsu or in life? You come up with an answer, you learned, and now you can move forward. So those are my, my lessons uh, that I jotted down today for lessons, life lessons from jiu-jitsu. Hopefully you like it. Hit the share button or the thumbs up if you so please. You can go to also now kylenewell.com forward slash manual. Get my free Secrets of Fasting mixtape. It's up there, so put your name. You'll be on the email list. And I always appreciate the support. Keep an eye out for all the events we got coming up. I mean, we got stuff for the 
not this coming weekend, but the following three weekends for the gym, for the estate. So we got a lot of stuff going on. All right, guys, appreciate the support. Have a great day.